at such, we were talking about it last yeah. week was just beautiful. We have had a gorgeous stretch, right? And we're getting into the end of October and we are going to have to deal with not only some rain this week, but we've even got a chance of severe thunderstorms coming our way by late tomorrow. Yes, we do have thunderstorms in the fall. Folks got a strong front heading our way. Look at Greensboro. Boy, it's beautiful, right? Lots of sunshine. Just a few thin, wispy clouds out there. Those clouds aren't producing the storms, but we are going to get more cloud cover in here. Increasing clouds for tonight, becoming kind of overcast by tomorrow morning, even a little bit of fog. The timing for this line of showers and a few thunderstorms is late tomorrow. So it looks like late afternoon for mountains as well as foothills and then toward the evening hours for the Piedmont Triad. Isolated strong to severe storms, some heavy downpours, some wind. Regardless of whether we do have severe weather, we're definitely going to have windy conditions with winds out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So we do have that shower thunderstorm threat tomorrow and then more wet weather. It looks like Thursday and Friday and that could kind of be the all day rain that we get in here toward the end of the week and then we're going to cool things down and we'll have a nice fall weekend. It looks like or is a nice weekend out there this weekend. 75 degrees this afternoon. A little on the warm side. Nobody's complaining though. 72 in Burlington and Winston Salem 69 right now in Mount Airy. We do have a breeze out of the south about 5 to 10 miles an hour and it's really going to pick up and that south wind is bringing the clouds in. You see the cloud cover down to the south, this bright yellow area, tornado watch zone out ahead of our front. And they have had a couple of reports of tornadoes out there over Missouri as well as Nebraska. Also some reports of hail and wind with this front. And this front does have a real high threat of bringing severe weather to places in Missouri and Illinois for the remainder of tonight. And then as we head into tomorrow, that front will be overhead. So if you look at our scale here, you can see that we've got six regions here and we're kind of in the middle of the road that slight risk for some isolated strong to severe storms but it does include the mountains the foothills and the Piedmont Triad so everyone needs to be prepared when that does move in damaging winds probably our biggest threat and some heavy rain but we could have some hail and we also can't rule out isolated tornadoes so if you look at the probability for damaging wind we're looking at all across the area has that potential a low threat for tornadoes at two percent but still covering up our entire region for tomorrow. Clouds are already starting to move in the high thin ones first. And as I mentioned, they'll get thicker overnight. There'll even be some fog to start your Monday morning. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s as we start going through the day tomorrow. I don't anticipate much mist in the morning, but with that fog, there could be some by lunchtime. We've got variably cloudy skies. Temperatures are warming into the 70s and we're pretty dry. So it's late afternoon after lunchtime for the mountains and foothills to have the shower and thunderstorm threat and then that time period between oh about four or five o'clock and about nine o'clock or maybe even 10 o'clock in the triad that's when we'll have the showers and thunderstorms pushing through the triad region and then clearing pretty quickly off to the east so to help you plan your day if you've got to get out early it'll be rain free rain chances going in in the afternoon getting relatively high during that dinner hour in the evening commute winds are out of the south and southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour the storm threat comes in a little bit sooner for the foothills in that 3, 4, 5 p.m. window. And then for the mountains, it could be as soon as just after lunchtime. And notice how the temperatures will drop too as the storms roll in. Once we get through with that, cooler numbers for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we've got rain in the forecast for Thursday and Friday. Right now, it looks like trick-or-treating will be dry.